<laughs> what an incredible vehicle this is. These were all real video of the truck. There's no renderings there. This is the real truck. This is a real fuel cell. This is the real badge, the real powertrain, everything in it. 800 volts of real. Just think about the exterior of this truck, how beautiful it is. The design of this, the power and the torque of this truck, being able to beat every diesel out there. The acceleration, the ability to accelerate two or three times faster than a diesel. The stocking power. What's incredible is on a regular diesel with air disc brakes, it takes 65 feet plus or minus to engage the brake calibers and get rid of the dead band. With Nikola, within a few milliseconds, you have thousands of brake horsepower at your disposal. Imagine stopping 50 to 100 feet faster. How many people and truck drivers would be alive today if you could stop 50 or 100 feet faster than the current standard? This is what Nikola brings. Every manufacturer out there said this thing was impossible. Everyone said it would never work. Everyone said this thing will never exist. Why can't the big guys do it? That was what we got from so many people. Yet there are so many believers, so many people here that believe. The people that were willing to fly in from all over the world, the people from everywhere in the world watching this live stream, they can see it now. They know it's real. Think about the interior on this truck, the visibility shot from the front, the ability to see everything in front of you in a glass window, the ability to see the cars next to you as a driver. This truck has two seats and a table in the rear of the truck. That fold down with a full-size table allows you to work. Work on your laptop, watch a movie, whatever you want to do, work on your paperwork. It's in the rear, you have four seats in this truck. The comfort features you get in this you don't get with a diesel. Normally a diesel, the hood goes up, the diesel engine comes all the way back, about six or eight feet back, and then all of a sudden the window goes up. Do you know why we designed that slanted window in our door? Very few people in this room will ever know this. Our chief designer designed that as a remembrance that that is where the diesel window ended, and this is where the diesel window has to, achieve, has to compete with now is nearly four feet difference. The driver's able to be up here, full LED lighting inside. The fit and finish is like you would find in a high-end automobile. No longer a grimy plastic dashboard filled with dust that a driver doesn't want to go to work in. This is an interior a driver would be proud to drive. There are displays inside. A 21 inch 4K display that gives you complete control of your entire vehicle. It tells you where all the hydrogen stations are. It tells you down the road you'll be able to integrate freight into it. It tells you your consumption. It tells you your potentially your revenue built in, how much money you've made so far. It allows you to control your HVAC. It allows you to control everything. In front of the driver's face, another very big display. It's a, a, a 12 inch gorgeous infotainment system and instrument cluster. The cluster is right there in front of you. Infotainment's off to the right. With very few buttons. If you look at a diesel, there's just buttons everywhere. We got rid of it. There's a few buttons down at the bottom. And other than that, the rest is digital. It's a full digital cockpit. In order to make this truck accessible to everybody, we knew we needed the best service program out there. We partnered up with two groups. One of them is Ryder with billions and billions and billions of, of miles underneath their belt. They have 800 locations around the country for service. They already service trucks. They know what they're doing. We didn't want to go build our service network. Too expensive, too difficult, too much time. Then we worked with another group named Thompson Cat. We needed somebody who understood heavy machinery. Why did we choose Thompson Cat? It was incredible because Ryder knows trucks really well. Thompson does as well, but Thompson knows heavy machinery. They understand the big dirt 
earth movers. They understand forklifts. They understand skidsters. Every tractor you can imagine, they understand. They understand what vibration does to a vehicle. We wanted the best. We, we recruited the best people to be our partners so they could help, so we could learn from the mistakes that they've already learned. This is all about relationships. Without technology, it won't matter without people. Or with technology, sorry, with technology. Technology, it just doesn't matter without the people around you to make it incredible. What I want to do right now is invite up all the people and equal that are still with us, which is everyone, that are here in our basement. If we can have Kane and Devin, or, uh, sorry, Kevin and Dane and Tony, Tony, Isaac, Jordan, Morgan, Steve, Mark, Russell, if you guys can come up, please. the Nikola team that originally started in the basement. These are all still with us, which is incredible. It shows you the culture we have at Nikola. We truly, I mean, there's no layers of bureaucracy in our company. No one's treated any differently. When we go to barbecues, I love, like so many others, we all fight for who gets to cook for each other. This is the culture we bred into Nikola. You should treat everyone as your equal. There should be no difference. We have a, we have a, a layer to make sure that we are doing things methodically, as you can tell. I think you can give the production crew here a pretty good round of applause for how well it's put together. We will call this controlled chaos. And that's what I love doing. These are all the Nikola employees that started. Now what I want to do is I have one last surprise for you guys, so just hold tight here. One last surprise is pretty incredible. Before I do that, I want to bring all the Nikola employees up on the stage so we can have a picture real quick. If all the Nikola employees can come up here. two things. In 20 minutes from right now, you'll have a chance to have an incredible country star, Frankie Ballard, come and give you an incredible 45-minute concert. Give him... Yeah, give. There's going to be more demos and discussions tomorrow, so everyone here, you guys get invited in the morning time before the rest of all the public comes, so make sure you come in the morning where you get a little less... It's a little less crowded to be able to enjoy everything. I want to thank everyone that's tuned in from around the world, people from, from everywhere. I mean, all the way from Norway to Germany to um, Switzerland to many other countries that are up at 3 or 4 a.m. right now. It's closer to 5 a.m. actually now. <laughs> They've been up for a while, watch us. Um, and everyone here in the United States and Mexico, everywhere else in the world, all the way to Australia, everyone that's been tuning in, thank you so much. I want, to, I want everyone to enjoy the reception afterwards. I want you to mingle and enjoy before you do that, I have one last surprise for you. If the Nikola team, and I'll ask everyone to stay seated here until it comes in and is fully roped off, if the Nikola team can create a human barrier wall from that curtain this way. Okay, go ahead and go down there. Hey guys. 